Okay guys, get comfy because today we're doing ghost stories. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so because it's Halloween, I had this whole idea that I would be doing a spooky video every month and I've absolutely failed just because of uni and being stressed out. So today I'm going to be telling all of my ghostly experiences. I will start off by saying I'm, I'm more of a skeptic than anything. I don't really believe in ghosts. But as far as I'm concerned, these things did actually happen, so you can, you know, it's just a bit of fun. So, yeah, I had this idea where I wanted this to be like a dead cosy setup. So I've got like all my duvets and all my blankets with me and it's fucking boiling, so I can't even. So we've got my shark and let's go. I didn't even say, hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hey. So when I was little, we went as a family to the garden centre. So it was me, my dad, my mum, my sister, right? And we went to a garden centre. And on the way home, my dad said that we'd picked up these gnomes. And he did voices for them, like, as if they were in the back of the car. So obviously we believed that they were real and they'd come to live with us. It happened, like, for a few weeks, my dad would just, like, talk to us in those voices. And then he just stopped. It was just like an old thing in the past. But I never stopped talking to them. I, well, not never, I don't talk to them anymore. But even though my dad was downstairs and everybody else was downstairs, I would still talk to them and hear replies. <laughs> I believed, right, that they lived on top of my wardrobe. And I used to talk to them. It was a a, a guy and a girl and eventually the girl went missing and I had no idea why so I asked my dad and he said that she'd like packed her bags and left you know like as if it was something but I I was this was real to me like I genuinely believed that these gnomes lived with us and taught to me and they were my friends it was really strange and I think it's more of like an imaginary friend sort of situation in this but to me it's like real like I remember talking to them so yeah, they could have been ghosts, they could have been gnomes, they could have been my imagination, but it is a bit weird and yeah, I still remember it and I think it's funny, really. <laughs> Next one is more of a ghost story. So this is also when I was younger. We were at my grandma's house and everybody had gone upstairs to, I don't know, I think they were bathing my brother or something and everybody, they, you know, they were all upstairs and I stayed downstairs to clean up, right? I was, we had these stupid jigsaw puzzle pieces they like foam big and I was just getting them all in a pile and making them nice I looked down and there are two feet stood in front of me so obviously I think nothing of it straight away I'm like oh it must be somebody come out of the dining room which was facing me which is creepy anyway because it's just glass like you know it had like it has like patterns on it I can't remember what you call it but it just looks creepy anyway but she was we're getting ahead of it. So yeah, these feet were in front of me. And when I looked at them closer, they, they were white, like white feet. And that's what I remember. And then I looked up and there was a woman stood over me, just completely pale, pale as shit, like white robe. And she just looked down at me. And obviously as like a 12 year old, I fucking shit myself. I don't think I was 12. I must have been younger than that. But you know, I, I shit myself and I ran up those stairs. I was like, oh my God, help me. Yeah, so obviously I came upstairs. I was like, I've seen a ghost. And everybody was like, no, you haven't. Stop bullshitting. You just try to scare everybody. But I remember it and I remember seeing her and she was really scary. And I made up some like stupid version of it when I was little, you know, cause when you see something or like think something's real and then you just go off and keep adding things to it. So my little mind added this scene onto it. So I saw the ghost ran upstairs and midway up the stairs I turned around and she was right behind me and went ah! and I'm like that didn't happen I don't remember that but I remember the other thing so yeah yeah those two are my youngest stories so I they're a bit like short I don't really remember it so let's get into my first like real story so the house that I live in now with my dad well not like right now but where I live <laughs> it's always been a bit weird you get like a weird energy when you come in it can feel a bit airy in certain places in the house, but we never really thought anything of it. But it started getting worse and worse. We'd hear walking along the landing, knocking on the doors, like bedroom doors, just weird stuff like that. You'd feel really uncomfortable at the top of the landing. It always felt really strange. And in the pantry downstairs, which lined up together with each other, you know, like that. 
but <laughs> yeah it was just strange my dad would always accuse me of knocking on his door and like wandering around at night and i'm like no i'm just in bed leave me be <laughs> but it was strange but at the same time obviously because all these weird things were happening i created this like persona of a ghost that lived in the house so what it was was that he was sort of like a guardian angel but like ghost form i don't know and he was an old man named toby who lived in the house and died but he's a good guy he's like you know not dangerous and all yeah this was a running joke for ages i had this necklace i think i still have it somewhere but i i don't know where it is and it had this little pendant in it and i was like this is like toby this is him personified in an object so i was like right okay and i used to wear it but the weird thing was so after it got really annoying my dad was like you know what i don't care i'm gonna get a, I don't even know what you call her, like a psychic? Th psychic? I don't know, somebody who does like, who can speak to ghosts and shit, I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, my dad called one of them in, didn't tell us, I mean he told us it was happening but didn't tell us what day and it was while we were at school. So basically she went around, blessed the house, you know like all of that shit, she put salt along things. There's a really creepy cross in the pantry now that she did and it is, it's creepy. But um, when we get back, me and Lucy are just chilling out upstairs because obviously she knew about the Toby thing because it was just like a joke. So my dad comes up and he's like, okay, I'm going to tell you something, but don't be like freaked out because, you know, it's, it might not be real and all of this. And he told us that the woman who came in found, or like she sensed, I suppose, that an old man was living in the house who was a good spirit and like was looking after us. And then she like, what do you call it? kicked him out of the house she kicked toby out okay poor toby and it was me and lucy just went like at each other and we were like oh my god how creepy is that and at the same day which i always thought was really weird while i was at school that day the like gem inside the necklace that was like a personification of toby broke like the gem fell out and i was like oh my god this isn't a good sign and when i get home i get told that he's left and i was like <laughs> Like, I know it sounds really stupid, but it, it's crazy, man. Like, Toby was real. He was my G. <laughs> yeah, so next story is, like, a bit later on after this. So I was under the impression that Toby had been protecting us from some sort of evil spirit. So me and my friend decided that we would do a Ouija board. We did, like, some stupid thing. We did it on paper. We had, like, paper everything. And we were just sat on the floor. We, we lit candles everywhere. And it was like a proper little creepy thing, but we were just messing about and nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened. Ouija boards have never worked for me, even... I mean, they've always been stupid shit ones, but... <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, right, we finished playing with the Ouija board, we said goodbye and everything. And my friend looks at me and she just goes, you need to burn it now. And I was like, okay. Like both of us just, it was like we were in a trance. I wouldn't just set something on fire in my room. Like that's not something that I would do because I'm very scared of things going wrong. And although I'm a little bit reckless, I'm not that reckless. So yeah, she just like looks me dead in the eyes, like burn it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I just grabbed this paper, just normal paper. And I, I don't know if you've ever set fire to paper, but it tends to just like slowly you know spread up just like slowly like you'd have chance to light it and then leave and put it in the bathroom but anyway that's not the case i picked it up lit it on fire and it shot up like really fast and burnt all here on my hand it was so painful like literally it ruined the whole sleepover because i was crying all night just like i'm hurting real bad but it was very strange and the way it just set on fire so quickly it was really weird so obviously i ran and put it in the sink <laughs> put water on it and it was fine but i wasn't fine and i couldn't even tell anyone because my dad's very superstitious and if he found out i did a ouija board he'd probably like whack me in the face so i was like no this burn shall be concealed and he never saw it and he doesn't know the story so don't watch this video dad anyway so that's my little story and then the last thing that happened most recently was when we were on holiday and if you've seen my holiday vlog you've probably already seen this we were staying in a room and obviously me and connor are both asleep i woke up in the middle of the night and i saw somebody sat on the bed because we had single beds and they were slightly away from each other so there was a gap in between the beds is what i'm trying to say and there was somebody sat with their legs in between this gap. Connor is like hugging me, so it's not him. And I was like, what the fuck is that? I looked at it and it looked like my little brother, Sam, and he had his eyes closed just like this. 
and I like shit myself and I was just staring at it because I didn't know what to do. Like, I was staring at it for a good 10 seconds and then all of a sudden it just disappeared and I was like what the fuck and I was shitting myself because I was hyperventilating and I was like oh my god oh my god and Connor was just like god this is like please and then after that I kept seeing things I saw shadows standing in the bathroom doorway and then also in front of the wardrobe and I was just having a shit time I was like oh my god I'm gonna die but I did just go straight back to sleep but yeah I've had a few weird little experiences with like seeing things I see things a lot but I think I have something wrong with me I'm not gonna lie I'll see things running like say like a cat it sort of looks like that like as if it just ran and it there'll be nothing there or like insects and stuff but yeah anyway so I hope you've enjoyed these stories. I feel like I've gone through them very fast, so I don't even know if this is going to be good. But um, in regards to ghosts, I'm really not sure what I believe in. So, you know, you can let me know down below if you believe in ghosts or if you don't. There's no need to be aggressive, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week for another spooky video. <laughs> so yeah, bye. <laughs>